Heavy rains in Garissa County have seen the Kenya National Highway Authority close the Garissa Bura Highway following extensive damages on the sections of the road that has rendered it completely impassable. Speaking after an inspection tour at Bilbil area, engineer Njuguna Gatitu, director in charge of maintenance at Kenha, said the road will remain closed until the rains subside. What we would want to inform the public to take a lot of care. They should not try to cross such a type of water because it's dangerous. It can wash a car. This uh, water that is flowing here can actually wash even a bus. So we need to be very careful. Elsewhere, the hearing of the murder case of famous Nairobi businessman Jimmy Baburum continued today at the High Court in Malindi. The court heard that a police officer who first investigated the mysterious death in Watamu on July 27, 2015, was forced by his seniors to stop seeking statements from the wife and her alleged American lover, claiming she was being harassed. Degwa made the revelations while testifying before Lady Justice Dora Chepkoni. And the county director of gynecological and reproductive health in Homer. Kevin Osturi says recent data has put Ohoma Bay County second nationally in maternal mortality. Out of every 100,000 life births in Ohoma Bay County, 503 mothers succumb to complications during or after delivery. The underlying cause is simply a life of poverty. Poor maternal health services are common because of inadequate training and supervision of healthcare workers, negligence, and unethical practices. Meanwhile, farmers from Chendo village at Kamuwongo location in Chuso sub-county, Kitui County, are counting losses after a wild animal believed to be a stray hyena attacked and killed 17 goats from two homesteads last night. Finally, about 4,000 youth in Kisi County are expected to benefit from a World Bank-funded empowerment project being implemented by the National Industrial Training Authority, NETA. The youth will access funds to start businesses from the Kenya Youth and Employment Opportunities Project. Kisi County is one of the 17 counties that has been profited to take part and implement this project. And the Nairobi Rotary Club, joined by AAR Kenya, had a moment of sharing with Kamai Girls Bostol Institution situated at Committee Maximum Prison. 42 girls are undergoing short courses as a part of rehabilitation during their jail term. Caroline Kamar reporting for Channel 1 Nizar.